Hello and welcome to Creates Cards video channel here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how with designer series paper you can make paper rose, paper bows for packages. Here's an example of one and another one. So easy. It all it takes is a 6 inch by 12 inch piece of two sided cardstock where you have patterns on each side. You're going to cut out four 1 inch by 6 inch strips and then another four 1 inch by 6 inch strips. Then with the section that is left, this part's very important, you're going to cut this piece first. This is one inch by four. When you remove that, then it will give you four one inch by five inch pieces. Okay, let's get started. We're going to use snail, which is adhesive, and you're going to come down to the very end and just put a strip of adhesive across then you're going to twist making a point here let's see maybe I'll put it there so you can see and then press so that um, you get that together we're going to do all four of those so adhesive Let me do it this way. Okay, I've got the inside piece facing towards me. I'm going to curl and see how the end's point, starting to point. Bring it up and over. And then it here. Okay. And we're going to do this all the way through, so bear with me. It'll just take a couple minutes. I just thought this was such a great idea. We did it in class on Saturday. And everyone um, enjoyed it once they got the knack of how to do the twist and turn here. Okay, so there's our four pieces. Now you can do these all the same way if you want. So if you don't want an alternating bow, that's fine. If you just want it in one color. If you want to use solid cardstock, you just... Um, you know, have to decide what works best for you. You could decorate it by, you know, adding some pearls in or putting a little um, glitter. What you know, whatever works for you. But you know, I don't know about you, but I hate to pay two dollars for a bow in the store. This way, you can make a bow for any package. All you need is some cardstock. If all you had was white cardstock. Go in and stamp images on both sides in different colors of ink. What a great way to create a designer bow that will be any, you know, be the exact color that you need. Now I'm going to keep these sections together because at one point we're going to hook them together and so it's going to be important that the right sizes are with, you know, exact sizes are with the um, same size. Put this one over here. The very um, smallest piece we're not going to curl like this. We'll do it at the very end. So again like this. And you can see how quick this is. I'm showing you the whole process from um, start to finish so that um, you do see everything that I've done. And to show you how easy it is to do and how quick. Just, like I said, this is such a great way to always have a bow for a package. Okay, now we're going to take our mat pack. It's got a firm piece, a piece of foam, and then um, a guide. We don't need the guide, but we are going to use the firm piece and the piece of foam to protect our tabletop. Then we're going to take our paper piercer. We're going to line these up across and I'm, and I'm layering in the center 
Okay, now I'm going to take the center, I'm going to poke a hole in it, and I'm going to rotate the paper piercer just a little bit. You just need tiny brads, you don't need oversized brads. Push down, then lift up from the bottom, open up your brad, and lock this into place. Now, if these aren't straight, they're going to move, so go ahead and straighten them out, set it aside, do the next piece. Okay, punch in the center, rotate around, come back. Oh, and I should mention that this idea for the bows did come from Split Coast Stampers. I'm not the originator of it. Okay. Now we've got those two. We're going to do the same with this one. Now this is our smallest one, so this is going to be the third layer up. Okay. Again, we're overlapping them, so when I put the brad in, they're all going to hook together. Twist. Put the brad in. Now if by chance you can't get the brad in properly this way, You've already got a hole in each of these, just to individually layer them. You don't have to do it right on the mat pack. Okay, we're going to set our mat pack aside. Now we're going to take our smallest, well, you know what, let's take the smallest piece at the very end. We can decide. Okay, what I want is floral, then the solid, then the floral. I'm going to put dimensionals. Dimensionals come on a sheet. They're little pieces of foam that are sticky on both sides. When you take them off, you're going to have one side that's really sticky, and you just remove the covering and then it'll expose the adhesive underneath. So that way you have both sides. I would just space them. You don't need more than two. You then are going to take, see how these points are here? You're going to take this one and put it here, press in the middle, press down, gives us our two layers. Now we're going to take this one, same thing, I'm going to put dimensionals on the bottom. Just need two, you don't need any more than that. Okay. Take the protective off. Now this time, you're going to line up these points with the points in the bottom. And then press in the middle. Okay, now we have three layers. Then with this one, we're going to actually just form a circle. So you can either, I'll show you the difference, you can either do it where it's the opposite of what the row, you know, the layer be right below it is, or you can make it the same, whichever way you prefer. I'm going to do it so it's the same. I like the flower. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put some adhesive on the very end. You want to put a little extra on this part because this one you definitely um, it's going to be holding together on its own. Then put pressure across here. All right. And then on the seam, there's an actual seam here. Let's put two dimensionals. Again, remove the protective covering. Putting your finger in it. Press down. And within just a few minutes, you've got a beautiful bow. Now, you could also put dimensionals here so that it's ready to go um, for any package. If you do that, just don't remove the protective coating until you're ready to use it for the bow. Hope you'll stop by my blog, http colon backslash backslash createscards.blogspot.com. I have lots of tutorials, photos, and ideas for um, things made with Stamping Up products. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator, 
and hope you'll consider me as your demonstrator too. If you have any questions, please leave the question in the comment area and I definitely will come back and answer it. Thank you so much.